ye romane ye sremo pachomo moyen ma fa mfia wai Fourteen young men from Ghana embarked on a journey they believed would change their lives forever. Lured by promises of secure, well-paying jobs in Russia, these men left their families behind with hopes of building a better future. But what was meant to be a life-changing opportunity turned out to be their worst nightmare. We are in an uncompleted building and uh, this is one of the buildings they destroyed. Okay. Let me show you around. Much will go on now. Check inside, check inside. Uh, check inside. It all began on Sunday, August 4, 2024, when the men said their goodbyes and boarded a plane filled with dreams of success and providing for their loved ones. They arrived in Russia on August 6 through Togo. Their hearts were filled with anticipation, but from the moment they touched down, things took a chilling turn. Upon arrival, they were whisked off to Kostroma, a city in western Russia to sign what they thought would be employment contracts. Instead, they found themselves faced with a grim reality. The young men say they were deceived by a contractor who had promised them these opportunities, a man known as Abraham Bwache, popularly known as one man supporter in Ghana. Abraham, the man they had trusted, now seemed to be their worst enemy. Abraham Bwache. Popularly known as one man supporter. Mm -hmm. He brought us here. Right. He told the girls um, there is a job opportunity over here in Russia, which is security work and then agriculture. Okay. So we paid for our own plane ticket and then visa fee. Mm -hmm. The military people brought us a contract to sign. Mm -hmm. And then before he told us that it's a security work, but we'll be trained by the military. Right. So when the military people brought the contract, we thought it's the training that they are come to train us. The contract, we are come. The day we were signing, he was not around. He was in Moscow. So we called him and told him that um, I'm the contract I'm ready to sign. Should we sign? Because he is the one who brought us here. And he said, oh, we we'll sign other than we we'll the as of September 17, when I spoke with three of the remaining survivors, they were trapped in Donetsk, Ukraine, awaiting orders to be sent to the front line of the war. Two people out of the 14 said, um, the commander said they are going to front war, so they should prepare the next day they are going. Up to now, we've not heard from them. You can't go out anywhere, even if you are going to private. The security and the military has caught you. Their situation is beyond dire. Their passports have been seized and the 14 who left Ghana together have now been reduced to just three. Where are the remaining people? We don't know where they are. Just yesterday, they came to take two people out of me. And you don't know where you're going to next? We, we don't know where they are going to. Right now, as I'm talking to you, we are in the next. Mm. But then I don't know the exact place we are in the next. The others have disappeared. The only contact they've had is from David Edu, one of the men who managed to get in touch, urging the remaining three to escape at any cost. They live in constant fear, stuck in a makeshift shelter, and show who will be next to be sent to fight. And that boom, or that boom, and that boom. Yes, we need a modern BI in training BI a bit more than that. At the end, TSM, a macho, Utia, my friend, fear. Why, a macho? Be a dance with your lady, your dad, and we also the proud of so. It's the only job of what we have from. As if the physical and emotional torment weren't enough, they revealed that Abraham Boache had already taken his cat from each of them. 130,000 rebels from each of the 14 men. They were each paid 400,000 rebels for a war that never agreed to fight. These men are desperate to return home, alive if possible, but their future remains as uncertain as ever. My family is in Accra, but then I've not told my mom about it because my mom is suffering from stroke and BP. If I should tell her about it right now, you know what is going to happen. Efforts to reach Abraham Boache for his side of the story have, however, proved futile. Despite repeated attempts to get him to address as the serious accusations leveled against him by the young men, he remains unreachable, leaving many unanswered questions. 
Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News.